Hey everyone, so it's day 23 of Vlogmas. Um, I'm actually technically in Vegas right now, so I pre-recorded this. Um, I don't have a question for today. I mean, I had a whole bunch of other questions, but uh, there's some I didn't feel like answering at the moment, so I'm not answering them. So this is going to be just like a, a vlog vlog, kind of just me talking. I mean, I've been kind of doing that in the other videos, kind of rambling. But I don't have an actual direction in this one, so let's see. Well, I'll go with it. Um, let's talk about patience. That's a good type. That's a good topic. So I, well, <laughs> I consider myself, even though I overanalyze everything, I am hypercritical of things. I mostly have things that I do myself. Um, I could have a short temper, especially when I don't eat or if I don't sleep enough. Um, but otherwise, and I've been told this by other people, I have a lot of patience. Um, especially when I'm interacting with somebody who's having a hard day or when, um, when things aren't just going right. I, at least lately or in the last few months, I've been trying to like check myself like, okay, what's going on? what's upsetting me, what's upsetting the person I'm talking to, let's just take a step. Even if it's a quick micro step, I still, like, check myself as much as possible. So I may, like, rant and, like, go completely off the wall later, but in that moment I try to have as much patience with anybody that I'm interacting with as possible. And I just, it's because I'm, I, don't get me wrong, and people know, uh, people who know me know, especially my mom knows, if I butt heads with someone, I will go straight head to head with them. I have no problem. It's not that I'm scared of conflict or, I, I mean, I don't like it, but I'll do it. And especially if you lie to me or piss me off, like, genuinely, I will literally go head to head with you. I mean, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying that I don't have anger issues, especially when I don't eat, but lately more so than in the last few years I've been having a lot more times where I I'm about to say something and I stop myself I'm like okay is what I'm about to say gonna screw up the situation even more or what is it gonna do and the reason I brought this up is kind of what I mentioned to one of my co-workers today I was talking about Mercury and retrograde so the day I'm recording this is actually the winter solstice day it's December 21st and so the, it's Mercury was in the last day of retrograde or, or is. Sorry, I heard the dogs running. Um, and the sun moved to Sa Capricorn and Saturn. So if you if you follow astrology, if you looked anything up that day, uh, or even now if you want to look it up, it was considered the unluckiest day of the year. And I mentioned that to one of my coworkers, and she, she didn't want anything to do with it because she didn't believe in that stuff, which is fine. You believe in what you believe in. I, I don't care. I just like saying it sometimes. But the reason why I sometimes, quote unquote, believe with it, I mean, believe in it, is because it's not that I'm expecting something bad to happen necessarily. It's not that I am going to be like, oh, blaming it on it, which I kind of been doing, but it's more in like in a fun sense. Every time something goes wrong, I just scream Mercury for no reason because everything's been going wrong but if there is any reason that that I know that something is about to go wrong yeah I can play with this saying yeah I'm blaming it on that but the point is I've been having a lot more patience there's a lot of things that happened this week and well in the last two weeks but especially this week that I previously would have completely lost it literally either completely emotionally broken down or just get into an anger tailspin and then I will not logically think anything through but even with the interactions I had with my car so far, that is now oh, I overheated again today, which is fun, so I'm, I'm not going to be able to do anything with it until I take it to the mechanic. Um, I could have argued, I could have yelled, I could have like been completely illogical, but I checked myself. I'm like, you know what? I just want to know what's going on. I know something's wrong. Everything's going wrong. Even when I was on the side of the road, where previously I probably would just sat there and cried. And, I, and I'm, I'm not saying I, I cried. A lot of the times, a lot of the times when I do cry, I'm actually so pissed off that that is literally the only emotion I can let out. Um, 
the only other time that I cry when I'm sad is if I'm like thinking about my dog and I like go into that but I don't really cry otherwise um I only cry when I get really really mad and I don't know what to do it's like my like breakdown but I ended up on the side of the road a few times yesterday and a few times today and or when I recorded this the day of and I was just sitting there texting like waiting for my you know freaking car to cool down I'm just like I'm completely fine. I'm not mad. I'm annoyed. Um, I would say I'm annoyed, yes, of course, because that situation is not fun to be in. But I, I wasn't, like, overly emotionally upset because I'm like, you know what? Things are happening this week. I had a feeling I knew something was going to happen this week. Um, and it kind of is a double-edged sword with manifesting that something's going to happen. I understand that, um, especially if you're into the manifesting world. But I wasn't trying to manifest anything bad happening. I was more mentally preparing myself. That's where I'm thinking I'm coming from anyway. That I was mentally preparing myself that something was going to happen. Or multiple things. And if it did happen, to have patience. That was like literally my entire thing through this entire retrograde. Have patience with yourself, with others, with situations, with the universe, with anything. Just have patience. You're going to get through it gonna be fine you're just gonna struggle a little bit until you get there and that's that's kind of like I guess the my wrapping up thoughts of the year too if you think about it it's like just have a little patience think things through feel what you feel if you feel it I'm not telling anybody and I never will will tell anybody you cannot feel like you, you can't be pissed off if that happens no if you're mad about something be mad about it just try not to affect other people with your anger try to talk things through if you can um, if you can't, maybe that's not the best time to communicate. Um, just have patience with yourself, with others, and situations that happen. And I so wish I could tell more, like, customers at work that, because, yeah, what happens a lot of the customers at work it sucks. I work in a parking office. They get parking tickets. Yeah. Just figure it out. I mean, even if it, if you were in the right, just figure it out calmly. Have some patience. Be angry, sure, be angry. But I don't like when people affect other people. And that's what I try, I'm trying not to do. Like, I would probably vent to my friends, and I have. Like, I was so pissed off about my car. But when I went to the car place, I went with a level head. And I didn't yell at anyone. I didn't argue with anyone. But I was trying to get them to understand me. And they were trying to get me to understand them. And blah, blah, blah. But in general, like, with anything that did go wrong, or... I wouldn't say go wrong, I would say just didn't go as planned. Let's go with that. Um, I've handled it a lot better than it probably would have, like, a few years ago. Especially because everything kept piling. Not only were things not going as planned, um, I, you know, some things happened at work, some things happened in my life, something happened with my car, something happened with this... And I wasn't sleeping, and I was not comfortable half the day, cause, and I was in pain because of my head, and I have to have an MRI, and like, all this stuff happened, but I'm okay, because I'm here, making a video. Um, so that was my little vlog for today. Have patience, especially with yourself. And I actually plan to record the 24th video on the actual 24th when I come back. So you will see me then. Then I'm going to take a few days off and um, do a video about my budget. Because a few people want to know about my budget. I'll do my budget with me for January. And especially after I know more about my car. I'm dropping off my car on Tuesday. I do have a sinking fund for it, but it's not that big yet because I just got the car. Um, but if I have to, I'll use my emergency fund. And I had some money I was going to throw at one of my debts if I didn't spend all my money this month. So, I'm not really stressed about money at the moment. So I can't imagine there's going to be that much money. But you never know. Things can happen. I guess we'll just find out when it happens. I have a little, little, uh, buffer if I need to use it. But anyways, as... As the time this is posted, Mercury, Mercury is no longer in retrograde, and it won't be until March 22nd. So, let's just write out the rest of the year. Have fun. Be with your family if you want to. And if you don't want to, have fun by yourself or with your friends. And have a great one.